So I'm here with Dani Scheibel, and you do this awesome stuff called tape agami. Yes. And that's this that we see behind us is just tape, everything. And imagination. Tape and imagination. So explain to me, what is tape agami? Tape agami is the art form of applying imagination to masking tape. So it's a tool I use to create social interaction and make bonds stronger. It's also a material like process I developed in order to make sculpture. And how long have you been going on with doing these kinds of aesthetics and explorations? I, I think I'm somewhere around 35,000 hours of playing with tape. That's quite a lot of tape you have uh, gone through in order to create all these awesomeness things. Thank you. Yeah, um, we're around 350 miles of tape and there's 29 rolls in a mile. So uh, walk me through, uh, how, how do you go about when you, when you, if I wanted to start with tape agami, where would I, where would I start? Uh, at the hardware store, you'd go pick up a roll of tape. So everything that you make, it's made by taking the tape and rolling it into a tube like this. And the adhesive's on the outside. And once you get good, you can do it fast. So this is a line that you draw with. And so you can take the tape and you can fold it and cut it in different ways to make whatever you want. So I can this to liquid Legos. It's also like turning your hands into a 3D printer. But you can create form and volume really quickly. And then the best thing about Tabigami is once you're done with it, you can stick it on someone you don't know and become friends with them. Awesome. So, and then you've sort of found out different ways of sort of working with a tape yeah. to create all these magical shapes and forms. Yeah. Um, it's, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to make new forms out of the tape, and that's really freeing. Um, so then I have one material and one process that allows me to make and render anything. And I also spend a lot of time um, going around and making things for people and having them challenge me to see if I can make it. Is that and behind us, over behind these awesome sculptures, we have kids and all kinds of people exploring how to use tape in their own creative uh, explorations. What do people say when they sort of start? How, how would you describe the sense and feeling of the people here doing the tape stuff? I think everyone's having a really good time. Um, that's because the first rule of tape agami is to have fun while you do it. If you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. But uh, I really try and design the environment to be one where failure is necessary and accepted. So it's about playing first and then worrying about what you can do after you're done playing. This is trying to make it open. And then once you create something, you can come and put it in the city because it's a big sculpture that we all make together. And this about failing, I guess, tape in this case is quite an awesome material to work with a sort of iteration and learning how to fail. Yeah, um, in people's minds, tape's temporary. So they don't worry about it. it doesn't have a, they don't worry if they're good or bad at it, also because they never knew you could make anything. So in that way, it's a perfect material for learning how to play and be creative. And you would say that this type of tape would be the primary awesomeness tape to do tape agami? I think it's the best one to start with. Get a couple years in and then we'll start to get you into the fancy tapes. Awesome. I'll get back in a couple of Maker Fairs and I'll tell you about my progression. Sounds wonderful. You can always get in contact with us to uh, tapeagami.com. Tapeagami.com. Yeah. Thank you so much for uh, walking us through tapeagami. Thank you.